Auburn the week after, win those, they go to the SEC championship game. Big Ten showdown, game of the year in the conference, the Ohio State University against Michigan State, and Urban, Urban was locked in on Old Sparty after they ruined their season last year, kept them out of the championship game. Connor Cook finds Keith Mumphrey. Sparty goes up 7-0, but there are a lot of big plays in this game from the Buckeyes. Down 21-14, Lou, J.T. Barrett to Michael Top. Well, I tell you, J.T. Barrett just had a tremendous game and did Ohio State. But let's give Michigan State a lot of credit for their offense, but Ohio State put up 568 yards offense against that great Michigan State defense. Barrett. Look at this catch from Devin Smith made it. Oh, terrific pass protection. Look at all the time he had. Put the ball perfectly. Smith comes down with a reception for the touchdown. 28-21. He had even a couple of catches that were even better than that one. 28-24 still tied. Ezekiel Elliott gives the Buckeyes a two-possession lead. And now they've stretched it out to 42-24. Cook trying to rally. Party. Josiah Price, 11 point game, but Ohio State continue to have an answer. It's JT Barrett. Braxton, who? Uh, <laughs> I'm this, kidding. I'm this, kidding. This young man is a freshman. He's just doing a tremendous job. Ohio State has vastly improved since the beginning of the year. 386 yards of total offense, five touchdowns. I think JT Barrett wants himself a helmet sticker. Of course, Ezekiel Elliott put himself into play for one, two. 49-37, Buckeyes roll. Uh, a great environment against an excellent football team, and that was, uh, I made comments before about when you get two teams that control a lot of scrims like that, two sledgehammers, so I want to say, I give credit to Michigan State, but I got to play their tails off tonight. Come on out and just do my job, that's what we talked about all week. Uh, don't worry about your own brother's job. Uh, make sure you have the trust in them that they're going to do their job, and I just got to do mine. Uh, we've been going at this for a long time, uh, preparing for Michigan State. Uh, so, I mean, it's been since, like, the spring, so just preparation and having the confidence to come out and play. Now here's what the Buckeyes have for me. Ohio State's victory against Michigan State was most impressive, perhaps sending a message to the country about the relative strength of at least the best teams in the Big Ten. Still, Counselor May says even if the Buckeyes run the table, finish the season with one loss, there is no spot for them in the college football playoff. Yeah, sure. And if you look at Ohio State's victory, we thought Michigan State was a good football team with their one loss going to Oregon. But we found out that it doesn't matter because they still lost to a Pac-12 team. And in the Pac-12, Arizona State with a big victory over Notre Dame and Oregon end up with one loss playing the Pac-12 championship. There'll be a team from the Pac-12 with one loss. Big 12 Conference, TCU, Baylor. At least one of those teams will end up with one loss, maybe two. Alabama's big one at LSU. They beat Mississippi State. There'll probably be two teams from the SEC with one loss. Florida State from the... ACC, they'll end up undefeated. So you're looking at teams from other conferences that are Power 5 conferences that will have better records or at least equal records with playing tougher schedules. And okay. the Big Ten Conference is probably the second weakest conference. And I've got two words left to tell you. Virginia Tech. From the weakest hey, of the hey, Big Five conferences. It's hey. quieter now, Patros, Counselor Hall. Uh, i tell you what, but he is so anti-Ohio State, he has been forever. So let me That's tell you. irrelevant. Okay. Strike from the well, record. What we're looking at, we're looking at who's the best football team at the present time going in that has a pretty comfortable record. Braxton Miller was a great quarterback. He's injured. In comes J.T. Barrett, a freshman. You saw him practice. You said you don't think he can throw well enough. But Urban Meyer has taken this football team since the second game, and he's developed it where they have 568 yards against what he said was one of the great defenses in the country. And I want to tell you, right now, Ohio State has played as well as anybody in the country. You talk about conference, anything else, they did earlier in the year, yeah. Right now, they are definitely one of the four best teams in the country. But body yeah. of work, strength of schedule, it's not just okay. here, it's the entirety of Wait, the look, This, this is an easy decision. Yeah. I want to know what case you're bringing before this court. Are you saying no matter what, even if we have two lost chaos? No, I didn't say that. I said one lost team from the Pac-12. The big no, no, I mean, I know that. Are you saying that if there are two lost teams elsewhere that you have no spot for Ohio State? Two uh, lost teams? No. Obviously, okay. he didn't make his argument quite plain enough because you have to ask him. Well, uh, here's, here's, what, here, here's what this court rules. If everybody, if everybody winds up with one loss, as Counselor May says, then he's right. There's no spot for Ohio State oh. if all of those teams wind up with one loss. 
But if they wind up with two, there is no, a spot. No, that's okay. Hey, that's hey, that, argument. Hey, My hey, argument is that hey, they wind up with one. I want to tell you, the committee, years. thank no, God no, you no. are not the committee, you are neither. They look at who's playing best right now. Who I, has one lot? No, who has the highest no, rate no, as well as anybody? I am work. I'm, I am, Holtz, the entire body of work. I'm not what happens to the entire body of work. What do you know about body? I'm dismissing this case. There is no winner tonight because you're right on one loss. You're right if there are two courts adjourned. I, I tell you what, it, it, it's bad. It's bad because you're looking at your honor, it's the team that improved that goes along. Yeah, they, all, they, I'll so say this. They, they were allowed to improve. No wonder the people in Ohio dislike you.